Turkey and Greece are still going in part four. So last time we left off, we had Turkey with a nice dog border. Aw. And now we have Greece going to uh, make their plans into southern China. Not as cool, though. Um, so with this, the, the invasion has started, and they start to take over a little bit, and they start to take over this island that's um, claimed by Vietnam. Yeah, but they have Vietnam, so they can kind of do whatever they want now. Um, so with this fortunate sun raves in the sky, um, and they also decide to um, start splitting up um, a bit more land so it can look better. So with this, they they make a, some very weird borders, but they don't really care that much. There's also another puppet established right over here. Um, so now we have even more more border wars. So let's just finish up these puppets I was gonna put in, but well, I was too lazy to actually do it. Um, so let's do the puppets. So the so first we have the Turkish puppets finally being set up over in um Tibet, and now it's really weird sized. Well, so yeah, the puppets are finally eventually set up. Finally, eventually, so what? What? Why do I speak? Um. So now we have the Greek puppets going to be set up, and so and they successfully do that. They also decide to set up a, a bit more of a puppet. They also decide to set up a puppet down here, um, because they just you know want to appear more free. Because right now there's a lot of censorship going on, um, because they want to expand their empires. So yeah, the uh, and then another puppet is kind of and then multiple puppets are established through there. Um, so then the final puppet is established over here, and, like, the the rest of these things are being split off, that's, like, states and stuff, Jesus, um, so with this, yeah, it's, like, states, who, no one cares, <laughs> I don't even think Turkey and Greece have states, I'm pretty sure they don't, so yeah, then finally, boom, puppet, there, almost gave myself a heart attack, congratulations. Jesus, what? There we go. And they didn't make, make a new puppet because I'm terrible at drawing. Anyways, so finally they're going to keep um, expanding into China after um, some horrible kid with a, with a mouse draw, draw, just drew something. Um, Turkey decides because they want to keep this dog border, they'll just give it a big tongue so it can be to the industrialized land. This creates a spearhead, which actually looks pretty all right. Look, <laughs> I said that too soon, and they eventually reach it. They also decide, um, they still want to keep this dog border though, so they just uh, so they decide to give it a nose right here, splitting up this part of China. Um, so now with this freakishly large tongue, we have aerial landing so that we can keep this really cool dog border. And aerial landings eventually finally happen in Beijing, and they also decide to split off China from the rest. Um, Be Beijing is captured as well as Winnie the Flu. Um, and, now and then they make some more aerial landings. Um, so now it's actually the reach for the industrialized land, which is mainly over here. So with this, Greece decides to make their big push, and, they have, and they're able to do so. Um, after very fierce fighting from patriotic Chinese civilians who don't know that their leaders are actually, were actually extremely corrupt for many years, um... They eventually start to reach some of the some of the land. Um, Turkey makes a makes a um, sea landing right here, and now we finally have war being declared on from the two empires. So first, Turkey um, moves to protect to protect this industrialized land, and they start pushing back the Greek Empire. Uh, the industrialized lands are finally captured, and peace deals are are quickly settled in China. Um, both sides claim the land that they got very quickly so so they can get back to fighting and they just leave this dog land kind of untouched and they and this is puppeted but i don't feel like coloring it in um so now we have more action going down in mainly europe so um the main plan for turkey right here is to capture um the capital of greece and then push down through the african colonies with arabian support and take out iberia taking out most of their good land um well, Greece's plan, per always, is to just capture Constantinople. Um, so then, um, they start, they go to um, both sides attempt to push at the exact same time, but but it's just a front line. Um, so over in Russia, um, the Tur the Turkish Russia, um, they decide let's just push through all of Europe because I feel like it. They take they take Poland, they um, and unite with the Baltic countries. 
um, there's a there's a try and push through Finland, but it doesn't go too well. And then they and then with Kami rebels, they're able to take out um, e- take out the eastern part of Germany, and they split it up into states, so that, so they can kind of do their own thing. But they're still you know part of them. Um, so once again, a, a front line is meet because um, both sides are very industrialized, but Turkey will might eventually be able to break through considering they're industrialized in from China, although they have been not able to fully like trade it through into themselves. Um, over in Africa, we have a split being we have a split being made um, with Turkey, and they start pushing down to Somaliland. Um, Somalia, um, Ethiopia also decides to um, help them out. And they're able to take out Somaliland, and they start pushing through Greece, Greece's Africa, um, uniting this um, Turkish Africa, and they also take through um, the rest of this little land because they felt like it. There's then a push through the puppeted Egypt, and with and with Red Sea landings, they're able to you know kind of just fully cut off Greece from their coastal right here. Um, they then decide to to try to push on through the puppet, and then they start pushing through. So now we have some truly Ottoman stuff going on, and now. Um, there's a very, very, um, dangerous plan. Island hopping. So, they make hard-fought landing after hard-fought landing on Greek islands. They start they start their push through, and it's fiercely defended, and they're eventually made a front line right here, with very, um, hard-hitting encircled forces trying to push them back. They eventually do this, and they also encircle this. And any POWs that are being captured are being, um, hit ruthlessly, especially by Greece. Um... Turkey decides to take out Romania so they can get some more land, but Greece is able to meet them with a front line right here. Um, Greece tries to push through, doesn't really go too well. Um, and now we have um, Turkey's main plan being activated once again after being Somali delayed. S- Somali delayed, well, Somali delayed. They are able to take over um, all of Greece's territory that connect to the Mediterranean Sea. Now, Turkey, it's a bit more desertous than Greece, so they're able to push through this a lot easier than um, Greece did when they first conquered it. Um, the encirclements begin, and the, and the forces are being wiped out very slowly but surely. And now we have some Greece troops being, you know, re- um, repositioned, and Greece basically cons- they conscript every male in their population aged 30 to 60 to fight. Um, with this, there is a hard front line that hits right over here. They also decide to annex their puppets uh, while they c- um, because they're about to consider leaving. And they, they put they decide to hit a massive bulge through here, but and they get a little more access to the Red Sea. Over in Iberia, there's a harsh line. Um, fought right through here, regaining access to the Mediterranean Sea, just a little bit more. Um, the puppets see what's going on. The Greek Greece puppets see what's going on, and, and um, fearing potential defeat, um, they're annexed, um, because they feared it, and, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, Greece decides to push up into Yaomen, and they're able to take out the country, very sad. They also push into the UAE, because, you know, countries war, yep, stuff. Um, Although they are eventually pushed back by the Saudi Arabian army. Um, so now there is another spearhead that goes through here, and they, and they start pushing. Then Turkey decides to put in some more um, conscription. They decide that it will be a great idea to do anyone from the ages of 40 to 50 um, to fight um, for their country. Like I said, Greece puppets, yeah. Um, so now we have lots of men in both armies. And mainly with Greece having... And Greece has a little more men because India is the now the you know most popular. It's the most popular country before they got it, and stuff. So now they have lots of land. Um, there's a very then there's one of the bloodiest battles of the entire war. So over in the capital of Egypt, Cario, 